Okay, so we are talking to Patrick and Carl Purcell today. Guys, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having us. Um, now, we're going to be talking about your uh, your new series, Winter City, but if you can start us off, just tell us a little bit about how you got into comics, how you got started on this in the first place. Sure, yeah. Well, uh, I've, I've always loved comics. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I got given as a gift when I was young a copy of The Rocketeer. You know, the movie, it was the movie translated into a comic book. Yep. And oh, I loved it. I loved The Rocketeer and I loved the, the artwork and mm. I really enjoyed it. So I started trying to draw my own comic books, yep. write my own. And you know, this was probably, I must have been six or seven then. So, and I've just always been into it ever since. Mm. Um, never ever imagined I'd make a career of it. It was just something I did as a hobby that I really enjoyed doing. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it sort of went from The Rocketeer to The Simpsons to some Garfield and I used to spend a lot of time at school drawing Garfield instead of doing <laughs> my work. I just, I just loved it. Much more fun. And, and then I went into Japanese comics as I got a bit older. Uh, the Guyver was one of my favourite, Akira as well. Yeah, nice. Um, and how about you, Carl? Yeah. You the same sort of origins? Uh, a little bit different. I'd never mm. set out to want to be a comic person or comic maker, but one thing I've always done, ever since I was you know, eight years old, I've always just written stuff any kind of stuff. Occasionally I'd write comics, mostly I'd write short fiction and try novels, but yeah, just mm. as long as I can remember remembering, I'd sit down and I'd just write and write and write, and yeah. that eventually translated into writing a comic. Yeah, so um, you got together on Winter City, I mean, how did that sort of come about? When did you sort of decide to get together <laughs> on this? Well, I, Winter City was an idea I had for a long time, you know, um, like I said, I always liked making comics and I my career didn't take me down that road but mm. I always wanted to somehow make it my career and I had this idea Winter City building and building and building and one night it, it might have been even after we went and saw Avatar it was or, somewhere James around Cameron's that Avatar, time. I it's think, very yeah. difficult to remember Carl and I night. after a late <laughs> night we <laughs> went to a, a Korean Japanese restaurant started having uh, some Korean wine and after a few of those I said I tell you what I've got a really great idea and I think I want you to write it for me because I just can't Right, I can't finish writing it. You know, I've got a plot, I've got a story, I've got characters. I just can't fill in all the gaps between the events and the characters and things that want to happen. So, and I said, "That's a great idea." Where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> he was sitting at someone else's table at the time. It was fantastic. <laughs> it was unbelievable. Yeah. Okay. Well, luckily you you remembered the conversation yeah. the next yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, we got straight into it. Actually, yeah. Yeah. give yourself a bit of recuperation yeah, right. time. Sure. But okay. Well, even tell us a little bit about Winter City, the basic premise. Sure. Yeah. Well. I've always been looking for a certain type of comic and I've really struggled to find it. I want, I like reality more than I like superpowers, okay. but I don't like reality to the point of law and order sort of stuff. So I'm trying to find something in the middle with also a bit of thrills and violence and, and, and so on. So Winter City is my piece to the world, filling in the space that I can't see. And so Winter City is the story of uh, it's ultimately an origin story. Mm -hmm. It's a story of a character or a creation that is a, a psychopath. Right. But by what happens throughout this, ch we, we follow his childhood. We go mm -hmm. from being a young child and all the tragic events that unfold in his life to you know, cause him to have uh, all the things that are a textbook for psychopaths, you know, yep. your lack of empathy and lack mm -hmm. of love and compassion, violent by nature. But anyway, builds this person up to then become our, our character. And so that's sort of the main story we're going with here, okay. which then also, wh while we're telling that story, we're also telling the story of that character becoming what it is and what it does. And, mm. and we slowly unravel the mystery of how it all came together to be what it is today. And it's, uh, it's not superpowers or anything it's all very realistic we mm. like to think and we mm. want it to you know ultimately be very realistic and gritty and perhaps even a bit painful for readers sure now i think a lot of people will find themselves cringing a lot and not yep. so much at the uh violence from our our, our psychopath but yeah. more from the tragedy of our young sam yeah some life. of it is quite hard to look at yeah I've, I've had a bit of a read of it myself and i, I actually found yeah the, there is the violence that's put it into that adult bracket but there's there's some stuff in there that's difficult to read and you obviously made a very clear decision to go in that direction yeah yeah, yeah we, we want we want people to go on a journey mm -hmm. you know really uh, feel the pa like I want my readers and I'm sure Carl will agree we want our readers to actually feel like they want to be 
doing that now too from all mm. this bad stuff that happens and then the ultimate climax that we lead to by that point they're going to have had enough and want to get yeah. out there and you're going to completely justify yeah, yeah, yeah. well lifestyle. there's no justification oh, that's yeah. that's actually sort of one of the moral issues we're trying to go with as well that mm. there there is no real justification for any of this that happened yeah. but it just happened because the world is not a very nice place yeah, for a lot sure. of people you know? uh, so, i don't think we're justifying anything but if we're not no. getting some big emotional stir in you we haven't done our jobs Fair yeah, point. That's right, yeah okay so i mean patrick came to you with this whole idea what, what were you bringing into this i mean any story elements in particular that you pushed uh, in well here? you said law and order i like law and order personally <laughs> i'm a big that's guilty sure. that's where a detective came yeah so yeah, the detective story i really brought into it that was my biggest contribution to the plot other than most of the scripting yeah. but um, I really wanted to write a detective story at the time and so yeah that detective and um, crime mystery element is what I brought into it. Right, awesome. Now um, you've got also the the website where people can get a hold of it digitally mm -hmm, correct. as well as the hard copy that you've been bringing out as well um, so we'll, we'll show the uh, little address there for people to get on uh, online so they can get that in um, PDF you were saying earlier? Correct and, yeah so yeah. from the site you can get some really high high resolution 200 dpi mm -hmm. downloads uh, cheap easy fast instantly mm -hmm. uh, do what you want with them but we're also getting printed like yep. as, as you mentioned and we're going to be getting them into comic book stores as soon as we can as soon as we're Excellent. able to you know we've sort of got a bit of a lead time on getting the prints yep. done got a stack of posters too we hopefully can cover up some of these <laughs> soon to be they second are. tier characters <laughs> put some over that big blue guy yeah. Yeah. <laughs> careful no, no, no. <laughs> love batman if, in fact if if my if you were to say what's your favorite um you know current comic book it would have to be batman you know sure. the dark knight returns by um by frank miller is just my, my uh, be all and it's, it's seminal yeah yeah it's okay. awesome so you guys are also going to be at supernova okay. so yep. we'll probably see you there as well so uh you're going to be able to get a hard copy you're going to be able to get it on the website and pdf on kindle so um, look everybody should have a look for this winter city very exciting stuff so get in there and check it out and um guys look thank you so much for being thanks on the for show. having us yes pleasure thanks for bringing us in Cheers. all the best